really what you need to set this guy up. And that's, that's, he thinks he's safe at that distance. You know, he's, he's basically giving you his hips because he's, he's just leading his hips out and there's, there's all his weights in his butt end and his hips aren't coming into play. They can't defend very well, they can't cut. They're just there. And that really gives you a chance to get your hook in and spin them over. Woo. Okay, here is a nice uh, combination, actually. It's a real far away old Chigari. And, you know, what you're going to do is, is, when you're doing this in the old Chigari, then you're going to turn it into an Uchimata with some Ken Ken action, some hop hop action. Because uh, it, it's the, the first part, the old Chigari, it is a real far away, like reaching, you know, like a, a, almost lunging old Chigari type thing. And then he avoids it by sticking his leg up and trying to hop away, and you just kind of change the direction and do Ken Ken and Shimada. And it, it's, it's really old school, it continues to work. It's been around a long time, but it's quite good. So let's take a look at it here. Can you do it once? And, so I'm gonna have uh, Eric do it on TJ here. There you go. So, well, that looks like Uchimata. Yeah, it pretty does. That's, that's good Uchimata. So let's take a look at this. Let me, let me use you, Derek, just for this up, okay? Look, when you're setting the guy up and we're fighting here, all right, the least thing, the last thing he thinks about, if you grip really far out here with your, in fact, almost lock your elbows, almost, not quite, you're still going to have some play on there, you know, some, some bend in there. But, so I've got a fairly low sleeve grip here, anywhere I want on the sleeve, and my, my grip is back here, or you could have up here, you know, wherever your grip is fine, but generally this is a pretty good grip from this grip. So, you know, it's like we always say, you know, Pull the belt of the rope over the guy and control him. Here, here's a good case. Okay, so bend over here, and he might be bent over or something. And I got my see how my arms are straight. See that? Okay. All right. So now, what I want to do? I'll come from this side. See you later. So when I come in, uh, I hook the ocean. Or ocean. See how much distance there? That's not technically a very good ocean. You already start. And he's thinking. Uh, he's just maybe trying something. I'll avoid it. Or he's just trying the last ditch thing. You know, I'll avoid it. So if I do this and I stay hooked with him, see if I can really lift that leg? That's what's going to work. That's what the thing's going to work. So when I come in here and I hook, keep that leg hooked, point that and hook it. And then he says, oh my God, he's really got me hooked. I've got to lift my leg to extract myself. And when he does that, then you start popping in and you throw it. And keep your arms really pretty straight. You have to be super straight, but enough where you can steer them over and throw them. So take a look at that. So, it's at the far away Uchi, Uchigari, Uchimata. And there you go. And if you look at some of the old videos, the great champion in a way, he caught a lot of guys with this type of move. Well, he did a whole lot better than me. But he, he was really master at it. But that's the setup for it. So let's look at it. Grab one more time. So, got the grip. Okay, see the grip? All right, I'm going to turn on back with you. See how the. Okay, now when Eric, when Derek comes in, come in a little more here, there you go. When Derek comes in with that old chip, kind of holding him up here, see how he really hooks. That's important. Keep that hooked. And it's kind of a far away old He's not really close like he'd like to be to where he can throw him flat on his back, you know, inside leg trip. Okay, but what he's got here now, and TJ ain't stupid. He says, I think I've been had. So I'm going to try to hop away and avoid it, get my leg up. And when he does that, he starts hopping around, hopping around. Hop around as many times as you need. When you do the hop, it is the kin kin, the hop hop action. There's short, choppy steps. He's kind of going backward in a circle. See that? Yeah, that's the direction there. Okay. So that's the action that actually makes you lift him high enough to throw him with the Uchimata. So one more time, and we'll let you practice. Okay? So old Chigari, Uchimata. Okay? Some people say, I've heard somebody say, well, that's old Chigari. Still threw him with old Chigari. Looks more like an Uchimata to me, but you know, like they say, no matter what you call it, call it important, right? So it's that good of a throw. We good? It's good to go.